Understanding Conscription Age, a Guide for English Learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very specific phrase, conscription age. This term is not only interesting in its composition but also significant in its meaning, especially in the context of global history and current affairs. So, let's dive in and understand what conscription age really means. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, conscription and age. Conscription refers to the compulsory enlistment of people in a national service, most often military service. It's a way for a government to build its armed forces. Age, in this context, means the specific time period in a person's life when they are legally obligated to participate in conscription, if it's required by their country. By combining these definitions, Conscription age refers to the specific age range during which individuals are legally required to enroll in the military or national service in countries where conscription exists. Understanding the concept of conscription age is crucial for several reasons. 1. Historical context. Many countries have used conscription at various points in history, especially during times of war. Two. Current relevance. Some countries still have active conscription policies, making it a relevant topic in global affairs. 3. Cultural significance. The concept can lead to discussions about duty, citizenship, and personal freedom. Knowing about conscription age helps in understanding not just the language but also the socio-political dynamics of different countries. Let's see some examples to understand how this phrase is used. In country X, the conscription age ranges from 18 to 25 years old. During the war, the government lowered the conscription age to include younger individuals. These examples show how the phrase is typically used in sentences, often in discussions about government policies or historical events. I hope this video has helped you understand what conscription age means and why it's an important term in both historical and contemporary contexts. Remember, learning a language is not just about words but also about the ideas and history behind them. Stay curious and keep learning. See you in our next video.